Today we're unboxing the Erin Condren Summer Mystery Box, and it's not Saturday, but it came in the mail recently and I just couldn't wait to share it with you. But more importantly, after we do the unboxing, I will be sharing with you three easy steps on how to start creating your own mystery or subscription box. Now, why would you want to start a mystery or subscription box? Because it's hugely profitable. Now, this box sold out, I believe within a day. The Cricut Mystery Box sells out within a few minutes. Auntie Tay, another Cricut YouTuber just started her own mystery box, her first ever, and that sold out in 30 minutes. And it's not just this industry, Willow Winters is a romance author, and she has a mystery box, and that sells out within a couple days. And that doesn't even have curated content in it. All it has is her own romance book, along with some author swag, which is like bookmarks or keychains. So nothing really elaborate or expensive, but she sells those, I believe for up to like $75 and those sell out within a couple minutes. So this is a hugely growing industry. It was $57 million in 2011, and it has grown to a $2.6 billion industry in 2017. Now that means there was a 100% growth year after year. It's just like the beginning days of Etsy. There are so many people who want this, but there are not enough people out there providing it. So this is the perfect time for you to maybe streamline, shift, or just add another revenue line and start making money and giving people something that they really, really want and would value. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturdays unless something special like the Erin Condren Summer Mystery Box came in and I just couldn't wait to share it with you. Now today we're also going to be talking about three easy steps. First, just how to create your own mystery box two, where you can sell it, and three, how you can test it out before you invest in a huge inventory of subscription boxes and supplies. But first, we're gonna open up the box. This was her signature pink box, and on the front it says enjoy, and it was sealed with a small piece of tape. Has her logo on the right and the left side, and on the back it was plain. And there was a shipping label on the bottom, so let's open it up. And inside it says, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. It looks like pineapple is their theme for the summer. I'm not a fan of pineapple, so we'll see what I think of the box. Uh, here's the, in, I'm gonna say ingredients, it's not ingredients, here's an inventory list. So all of this adds up to, I think it said on the site, $67, this was only 35, so, and it had free shipping. So in theory, if you love everything in here, it's a great value. And I've seen these before. So this is a tumbler. It is a BPA plastic. And it has one of those straws where it has a little notch so it doesn't come all the way out and the top screws on and off. So that's pretty cool. And over here, we have a, I love these. I do need one of the, these. It's a sunglass case or glass case. And just so you know, it's, um, it's velvety. I know you can't feel it, but it feels really smooth and it has gold foil here where it says hello sunshine and the inside also same thing. It is sort of velvety and it has her Erin Condren design, which is, I know you get these free all the time. I actually really like this. It's pretty, it's pretty thick and it is to clean your glasses. So love this. Nick, did you just hear that? Closes with a nice firm sound, so that's very sturdy. Over here, I saw these were given out at Planner, was it Planner Con? There was a Planner Conference that I missed out on. Um, and the it says marker, but I, I feel like these are highlighters, right? Markers, highlighters, do I have any paper to test this out on? And oh, this is actually a cute packaging idea. It's just a piece of cardboard folded up. But let me show you using this, those three colors. So here's orange. Here's yellow. You can barely see it. Pink. And let's see the other side. Smaller. It's like a thinner. And the yellow, so I don't know if anyone's really gonna see this when you write like this, because it's so small. Uh, over here we have stickers 
I love stickers and these are it's a good day enjoy every moment best day ever make it happen so these are cute so and it looks like they have I was almost gonna say gold foiling but that's clearly not it's silver foiling and over here same thing is silver foiling you have pineapples I will just ignore the pineapples little flip-flops uh, so two pages of stickers Elastic hairband hair ties. I don't have small children, but if I did, I think these would be great. I have such like thick, long hair that it's not that thick, but I, it's like it, my hair will just laugh at these hair ties. <laughs> just laugh and it will never stay in, but they look cute. I guess I could put a regular hair tie in and then put these on top. Um, so these feel smooth in case you're wondering. This one, the sparkly one, has some texture to it. And I'm always worried when I feel texture that it's gonna damage my hair. But I might just be wimpy that way. All right, pineapple. We know I'm not a fan of the pineapple, so I'm not too excited about this, but I will open it for you. It says Erin Condren in her logo on the back in rainbow colors. And it looks like it opens from the bottom, which is odd, but that's okay because it's a pineapple and I don't really like pineapples and I think the whole pineapple thing is weird. I really hope this trend will go away. <laughs> I know I sound like such a Debbie Downer. All right, last thing, we have a pineapple notebook. It is purple with gold pineapples on it and it says jot your thought included 80 lined pages. So on the front it says be a pineapple, Stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. And inside here, you can put your name and then lines to take notes. And then the little Erin Condren symbol. Just so you know, the Erin Condren symbol throughout this notebook is green. Or is that lime? That's like an aqua. It's like an aqua green. And the inside cover is also that same aqua green with her logo on the bottom. And I think that's it. Yep. All right, I love this box, even if I didn't love everything in it, and I will be buying all of her future boxes, and that's what you want. You want a customer like me who loves your products, may not love everything in the box, so don't worry about it. You're not going to have somebody who likes 100% of the things in your mystery box, that would be great, probably not likely. I like the idea that she has picked out and curated things for me, which I suspect you do too, because mystery boxes are very popular, and if you're watching this, you were probably interested in that box. So let's talk about how you can create your own mystery box and the three things that you need. So first, let's just talk about how to create it. Second, we'll talk about where you can sell it. And third, we'll talk about how to test your product so you don't end up with a huge inventory of supplies and subscriptions that nobody wants. So the first one is so easy. Just think about the five W's on you know what to put in your box. So who is this box for? Go ahead and brush out that, or dust off that branding uh, exercise you did when you first created your business on creating a client avatar and thinking about where does your ideal client shop? What do they buy? What services do they use? What's their age? What's their demographic, their income? And that's all going to help you deter to determine what to put in the box. And I would make a list of things, especially when you get boxes within a similar industry or area of things that you really liked and things that you really disliked or were huge dissatisfiers that you felt you didn't want someone else to choose for you or maybe things that you didn't feel were very valuable for the money that you had paid for the box. So keep a running total. The other thing you want to think about is when. So how often will you ship this box out? Will it be a monthly subscription box, which is pretty much the norm like Birchbox and Ipsy? Or will it be a quarterly box like Erin Condren's mystery box? Or will it be something semi-annual or a special occasion, say maybe every Christmas or for Black Friday you sell a mystery box? So these are going to help you determine your timeline and when you need to start sourcing products and putting things together and start taking pre-orders. The other thing you want to think about is where you are going to ship this to. So depending on what's in the box, you may be limited by legal reasons such as the medical marijuana uh, 
club obviously is restricted to places where it is legal to ship that in the mail. The other thing when you think about shipping to overseas, not just the cost, but the same thing, what is legal or not legal to ship overseas? And you will have to research all of these things on your own. And the most important part, W, is why. What's your amazing hook? You know, some of the boxes have really great catchy names and I don't know anything about the box, but because of their tagline, I'm going to order it anyway. So these are so easy and you can do this right now, just right here without even needing a special template or exercise to do that. If you Google, um, you know, subscription box success stories, you're going to find a ton of them. People are going to share with you exactly what they did, the steps they took, and sort of their thought process on why they included certain things in their box, why they didn't, and what they learned along the way to save you some growing pains. Now, the second thing we're going to think about is where to sell your box. Now, the number one place to me that seems most obvious is to sell this on CrateJoy. CrateJoy will not only help you to learn how to put a subscri subscription box together, they will also host it for you, they will put your storefront, they will help advertise your box for you, and I don't know that anyone else is doing that. Subly is their main competitor, but Subly does absolutely zero in the way of marketing, and I know people complain that CrateJoy has a huge Mark our huge uh, percentage they take of your sales, but to me, you probably wouldn't even have that sale if it wasn't for Crate Joy, especially if you're starting out and maybe you don't have a huge following. I think it's a it's just the cost. I don't want to say the cost of doing business. It's the cost of marketing because otherwise you would have to spend all of that money in Facebook ads or say Instagram ads or something else to entice people or get them to learn about your mystery box. Now, the third option is Shopify Plus plus Bold. I believe Bold is an independent company, but the two of them work together and Bold will uh, make crazy claims that they're so much cheaper and that they will actually help you to to migrate your store from CrateJoy over to Shopify Plus Plus Bold. However, I would strongly uh, recommend not doing that. You know, just for me, I um, I don't want to say hate, but I strongly dislike Shopify out of the box. It is in, it's really ugly, and their templates aren't. They look amazing when you see all the pictures from the stock images, but when you try to put your own pictures in there and sell things, it doesn't work. I think everyone's heard my nightmare story about the thousands and thousands of dollars that I wasted on Shopify developers, and it's still I couldn't get my theme to work. The shop was having issues. So I, you know, definitely am against Shopify just for that reason. But more importantly, Shopify has three tiers and their top tier is $2.99 per month. Shopify Plus is even more expensive than that. It is so expensive, they won't even tell you how expensive they are. You need to set up a special demo with a salesperson and then they will walk you through the price. So they, they advertise Shopify Plus as enterprise or large scale e-commerce businesses. And you know, if you're just starting out with a couple subscription boxes, unless you're Birchbox, that doesn't make any sense to me. And if you are Birchbox, you don't need Shopify. You can probably have someone build you your own key commerce store. So those are my recommendations on where to sell. Of course, you can always do it the old fashioned way, which is simply to build an e-commerce site on your own using WooCommerce or simply selling it maybe on Amazon by fulfillment even, or just taking orders via PayPal or something like that. So it's I wouldn't overthink it if you are not going to be using Crate Joy. Now, the third thing we want to talk about is how can you test this out, right? How do you know whether or not your box is going to work? There are a lot of people doing unboxings, not just me. There are actually channels completely 100% dedicated to unboxings. You can just email them, reach out to them and just say, hey, what do you think of this box? I bet nine times out of 10, they will write you back and actually help you. They were very friendly people that like doing unboxings, especially on YouTube, because it is a lot of work probably have an opinion and a good deal or sense of what's going on in the subscription box industry and what they perceive as a good value versus not such a good value and I'm sure would be willing to help you out. A second option is to actually put together your own box and send it to them. So maybe just send, curate one or two boxes, send them to them, ask them if they would do an unboxing for you on their channel. You know, people are always 
open to getting new products and unboxing those. And then you can tell maybe based on their audience whether or not people are going to like it. The third method is to actually just send an email or Instagram or do your own YouTube unboxing out to your current customers on your mailing list and ask them to fill out a survey or respond to you and just let let you know, would you buy this? Like, does this seem like something valuable? Now, I know surveys, when you ask people, would they buy it? Sometimes they won't buy it, but that's okay. At least you can get some sort of gauge on whether or not you're headed in the right direction and if this is the right audience for your mystery or subscription box. All right, I am looking forward to seeing your mystery or subscription box. So make sure to comment below and let me know what your idea is. And then hopefully other people that are watching can weigh in and let you know whether or not they would purchase that or they're excited by that. All right, I hope everyone is having a great day and I will see you guys later. Bye.